It wasn't until Louise Bourgeois was in her early 80s that she began working with fabric of different kinds. And throughout her entire life, she'd been a magnificent hoarder. She'd never threw anything away. She had the clothes her mother wore. She had her clothes from throughout her life. Linens, handkerchiefs, tablecloths, towels, all this material she associated with different people in her life. And in all of this work, it's very much about memory and looking back. There's some very playful sense of the types of transformations that we associate with fairy tales and myths, where um, you know someone's turned into a tree or someone grows a tail. <laughs> and this is an interesting part of her work where I think as much as it's about the past, there's a recognition that the past we hold in our heads is a past we've transformed with our imagination. It's not reality, it's something else. But that doesn't mean that its effect on us now is any less real. I'm standing in front of the very first sculpture of a head made out of fabric that Louise Bourgeois made in 1998. While she'd grown up as a child in the tapestry workshop that her mother supervised in their family business in France, and she, in a sense, returned to this business of working with fabric at the end of her life, her version is very, very different. I think there's something very powerful about this deliberately, ferociously bad sewing of Louise Bourgeois that she made in these pieces. She said that she saw the needle as a healing force. It was about repair. But she's very explicit in these sculptures about making sure that the trace of the needle, the trace it left, is very visible. There's a bit of a Frankenstein-like quality to some of these heads in that it's very clear that they've been stitched together from elements of different bodies. This work is called Rejection. And you know, you can look at it and feel the emotion of what looks like it could be a person who's in great pain. But you can take a breath, look away, and then look back, and you might see this as a portrait of someone laughing. It's very open-ended, a lot of her work. Very hard to just pin a single emotion to it. And in some of the small figures that we also see in this room, you get a different sense of this composite made out of conflicting or contradictory emotions. A sense that, you know, we have different elements inside us that don't always agree with each other. Bourgeois is able to take the kind of emotional tensions that we feel in our body and to find a form that gives you that experience when you're looking at the work. So looking at a lot of these sculptures is both an illuminating, sometimes an embarrassing experience. It's also a very intensely visceral experience. It's something you really feel in your own body. These are works that can be quite tough in many ways. She's not always painting a pretty picture. But I think there's always this incredibly rewarding sense that you get from exploring all the different associations and layers of resonance that these pieces conjure up.